Hello. Hi, Watson. How are you? Good. All right. It's 12, so we'll go ahead and get started. I expect this will be pretty brief. Um, as a um, reminder, this is the NTP Working Group. Um, here is the note well that you will have signed uh, or you will have agreed to anytime you uh, participate in an IETF meeting. If you have any questions about any of these processes or procedures, uh, please feel free to reach out to Dit or, or myself or to Eric Klein, our area director. Uh, Eric is busy today, so he will not be able to be here. Um, a couple of general uh, admin, uh, administrative notes. Uh, the draft minutes will be taking in, taken in the online notes tool. Uh, please help to ensure accuracy and completeness. Um, that is linked from the data tracker page for this meeting. Uh, and Dieter's just put the link into the chat. Uh, one, notice, uh, one thing that I noticed was that uh, we did not do the transfer. For the December meeting, we did not move uh, the minutes into the, we did not upload the minutes. So they're in the, the notes page for that meeting, but they're not, they have not been copied over as the final minutes. So we'll take care of that after this meeting. Um, Horatio, did you want to speak? Oh, you have gotten out of the queue. Uh, the second thing is, please use the queue tool. Um, this is a small group, so you all know that. Uh, please be clear, concise, and respectful, and act according to the IETF Code of Conduct. Um, this is our draft agenda for today. It's going to look suspiciously familiar, uh, a lot like the one from last time. Um, are there any, um, is there any agenda bashing? Okay. Um, with that, the um, first topic is the uh, document review status. Uh, it hasn't changed too much since last time. I do have a quick question on the first one, updating registries. I see, Rich, that you've joined us. Uh, we've gotten a question from Eric on, are we ready now to, I know there was a number of changes made of all of the changes that were requested. Uh, been incorporated and are we ready to proceed to the next step? Hey, I remember to unmute. Uh, yes, as far as I know, everything's been done. I, it's, I, I believe it's ready to go forward. Okay. Um, that was the question I received from Eric. And I was yep. pretty sure that was correct. Thank you. Um, uh, the enterprise prize profile is ready to proceed and Kronos is still with the RFC editor. Uh, so those are all of our documents that are beyond the working group at this stage. Um, the next item on the agenda is the NTP over PTP working group last call results. Um, there does appear to be uh, uh, so I, I guess I'll start with Marislav. I saw that you've made some updates. Is there anything you'd like to say? Oh uh, yeah, there is a new version uploaded. Most of it uh, was the changes suggested by Martin. Uh, there is one suggestion that is not included, and that was to describe if the fields are began then. I'm not sure if this is a thing that's commonly included in the in documents when it's the usual begin the end. I think normally an exception to that would be only described, but I'm not sure. And the other changes, yeah, that was the the organization specific ID. So the, the TLV is now using a, a specific value that's used for organization specific TLVs and the sub type is included 
in that that means the TLV is longer by eight octets. Um, we need a new registry for um, this use of the uh, IANA uh, organization ID for PTP messages. I, I haven't seen any registry for that. I think this would be the first use. That's okay. It. Um, I, I missed uh, on the, the con you got your open ID, uh, your OID question, um, resolved, uh, on the issue of a registry, uh, we need to establish one for this is what you're saying. Yes, I think so. Uh, I put a request in the document to create okay. this registry. I'm not sure if the request is formally correct. If anyone could look at it and let me know if it's wrong. Okay, we'll take a look at it. Um, so in your opinion, all of the comments that have been received have been addressed properly? Uh, except the the comment on it. about the big uh, description if the fields in the ptp header needs to be described as big Indian. yeah and there was the, another comment from ulrich uh, if the wording in the introduction is optimal i guess i'm not very good with the language so I would welcome suggestions from others. What's best? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, um, I I saw his comment on the uh, use packet encapsulation instead of packet is encapsulated as opposed to um, uh, protocol being encapsulated. And I think he's probably I think he's right. I think it would be clear if you just substitute packet for protocol protocol for packet for protocol um, okay um, so that just leaves the uh, the question of, of the Indianness um, you want to proceed without that change uh, I don't know what others think. I haven't seen that like in any draft I remember. Like I think the network in DNS is the default. So, I don't know. Anybody else have any thoughts? Very quiet group this morning. Um, all right. Um, with that, I, I think the working group last call results, I mean, it's a small working group, so I, it appears that there is consensus to move forward with this document. Does anybody disagree with that? All right, so uh, Dieter and I will uh, we'll send an email stating that consensus to the working group. All right, any other questions on this document? Okay, uh, so the next document is the NTPV5 requirements. Um, there has been some more discussion about that one. Do you want to speak to the status of that, please, James? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so I took in the feedback from Christoph and uh, Ira, or Ira, uh, apologies for butchering the name. Um, I've published the changes to the GitHub repository, but I was hoping to have any further feedback or at least acknowledgement that things have been addressed before publishing a new version. Uh, and um, I've received radio silence. Um, does anybody on, on this call have any feedback for James? Um, and looking over all the comments that were received, it seemed that there was two categories. There were ones that were disagreements with the um, particular parts of the content of the document. And then there was the comments about uh, whether or not this should be document should be published um i would like to proceed right now under the assumption that we're going to try and publish this document um, and get feedback from the isg i know rich you were one of the people who specifically commented that um, you didn't think it should be published um, I guess, yeah, maybe it doesn't have to be published, right? The drafts are always going to be available. And I've seen other cases where requirements documents have just been left as drafts that were parked. So, because um, then I think you don't have to worry about updating it when we make some other decisions. Yeah. I, I guess. Part of what I'm concerned about is this this working group has a hard time getting to documented consensuses. And I was hoping that this document would drive us in that direction. And that was... That's a really valid point. And if you think it is driving, then okay. you know, if you think it's helping to get there, sure. All right. Um, David? Sorry, I started speaking without turning on my mic. Um, I was wondering, uh, I, I, I agree with you on the point. I think it, it actually would be good for us, for the most part, to just bind us to a certain amount of the consensus so that we can avoid sort of the repeated cycle of the same points coming up again and again. Uh, I was also wondering uh, whether there is any documentation of the rough consensus on the whether or not we should be splitting off the algorithms from the normative part of the specification as the requirement documents in its current state suggest we are going to do. So there wasn't, as far as I'm aware, and this is going back a few years, so um, there wasn't any formal sort of working group consensus call made. The decision or at least the reason why I put the text in there is that it came from several discussions on the list but it also came from an old wiki page on the old track wiki that had listed out and this was done by a few people in the working group a whole bunch of things that uh, could should be addressed in NTPV4 um, and one of one of the things that came up in, uh, I, I, you know, in Kronos and, and and in other bits of work was that yeah, this is something we should probably look at at separating out. So um, yeah, we we haven't got a formal consensus call on it because uh, I don't think it's been there hasn't been too many people that have vehemently objected to it, but there has been a few discussions in the past where we've gone. That that's an that's a good idea. We should probably do that because the idea of algorithmic agility sounds like a good good thing. Yeah, and we um, under the uh, I mean, when the working group was originally chartered to work on NTP before the original plan was to duck, was to split the protocol from the algorithms, um, but for a number of historical reasons. That ended up not happening. Um, so we haven't done a formal consensus call. So if people object to us doing that, it would be um, 
we haven't done formal consensus calls on a number of things. We've only done them on the things that seem to be the most contentious. So we need people to identify what they believe to be items we should discuss further and establish formal consensus on. Yeah, so the reason I'm bringing it up again is because it, it's this seems at least to the people from the reference implementation to be a contentious subject. And I'm a bit afraid that if we declare consensus without doing explicitly something on this, that they'll be all over the follow on stages pointing out that there is no that 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 there is no consensus here on this and that they vehemently still disagree. Uh, which at, at some point that's going to slow us down. Right. Uh, uh, the, a counterpoint one could make is that by uh, agreeing to the, the consensus cause of adopting this document, which contains that and, and several other points, in addition to the consensus of it, the document progressing, that is a, a, a basically an acceptance of, you know, consensus of it as it is contained within the document, but that that's, you know, things with ants. Right. Uh, if that's sufficient, I'm happy with it, but it's just, I'm a bit worried about that. Yeah. Um, I, I think you are valid to be worried about it. Um, I'm, but again, I was hoping this, this, this part of the reason for doing this requirements document is if everybody agreed to the requirements document, then at least things that are in the requirements document shouldn't be argued about going forward. Yeah. I know that's uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, there, there will still be arguments going forward, but anyway. All right. Um, so what are next actions? What are what? What are the next actions? I've got oh, changes that could be rolled into another version. Um, uh, that could happen at, when, whenever. OK. Um, do you have a set of changes that you're waiting that that are you said you have a bunch uh, you have some some in the GitHub repository? Yeah, right? so it's in GitHub. I could literally push out a new version now uh, uh, to data tracker, but I have held off up until now until I received feedback. So we could either wait wait for that feedback do uh, or just hit the button or wait and do the do it after IES or during IESG or wh whatever I, I take your lead yeah I, I think um, there was enough discussion um, on the mailing list that um, I'd like to push another version uh, internal to the working group before we put it to the IESG okay shall I do that now Yes, please. OK. Um, OK, so uh, updates on ongoing working group efforts. Um, Miroslav, do you have any NTPV5 updates? No updates. I'm waiting no updates. for the requirements to be agreed on. Are there? specific requirements that um, are impacting that draft? I mean, they all obviously impact it, but. Um, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, OK. Seems to me that some people are completely against this, uh, this design and want to basically uh, be fully compatible in both ways with NTPv4. So in that case, I don't see a point calling it NTPv5. Uh, we can specify a new extension field for NTPv4, and which would contain all the improvements from what we have so far. Uh, I don't know. Um, so what you're saying is we could do a 
extension field with NTPV4 and satisfy the, the constraints of the people that don't want it to be. Yeah, I think so. Well, I, I feel the like messages would be longer. Like it would be some waste, but it could work, I think. Um, this is where I really need implementers and manufacturers to speak up. I really, um, we can try doing a working group discussion and consensus call on, you know, the two options. Um, all right. Any other thoughts? No. Oh, I don't see you in. Oh, you are in the queue. I'm sorry, David. Yeah, so on. Um... Uh, the implementation side, uh, um, I think the current NTPV4 spec and how it's formulated contains a number of landmines that I would really, really like to get rid of. Um, where people can easily make an implementation that is just problematic, to say the least, um, easily exploitable to a point that hopefully in the next few weeks I'm actually going to demonstrate uh, for those who still don't want to believe that um but things like the fact that we're using transmit timestamps basically is the only unique identifier stuff like that i think it's worth going through the ntpv5 process just to get rid of those traps for new players because we still have current actively maintained actively widely used implementations that do very very make very very poor decisions around this um, system D, time sync D is one of the big examples here. Uh, um, and if we don't fix that in a new version of a spec, that is going to happen until basically the end of time. Right. On the more positive note, by the way, um, I have uh, we have two uh, servers running our experimental implementation right now that are on the open public internet. I'll push an email to the mailing list for with the addresses for those who want to experiment with those. All right, thank you very much. Watson? Uh, Watson Lad, Akamai. Uh, I've been out of the NTP implementing game, but I, I do agree with David. There's a lot in NTP v4 that needs revision, especially to help implementers make the right choices. Uh, I think, you know, v5 is a valuable effort and, uh, Hopefully, it encourages us to continue with it. Uh, Christoph? Yeah, just for the sake of it, I, I completely agree. I think th there is a strong argument that we actually need a V5 that is not fully compatible, like what's compatible with V4, because V4 has problems that need fixing. OK. Um... With that discussion, we will uh, continue with the requirements document for now, and uh, we'll talk to a few other people and see. Um, uh, so any other comments on NTPV5 efforts? Nope, excellent. Uh, so uh, rough time, do we have any updates on rough time? The update is that I haven't updated the draft yet. Um, so my plan is to add in uh, the extension to signal for the client to signal the 
server's key. And that's sort of necessary if you want to rotate the servers you have, uh, rotate the keys. Um, I think with that change, I, I know that people have implemented it. I don't think there's much in the wire format that will need changing after that. Um, probably a good number of text changes will be needed. But I think we're getting to the state where I'll, I'll want a rough call, last call after I upload a new version with the new extension. Okay. Um, the final um, ongoing work effort um, is NTS for PTP. Um, Martin is not available today, but he did send an update. Um, and I had just forgotten exactly what he said, but uh, hold on a sec. Um, I have to find it. I think the short version of his update was that he, uh, uh, sorry, can't do two things at once. Uh, if, if I can just speak for him. Um, that would be shortly. fantastic. Thank you. I, I think part of the update <laughs> is like he's still he's still implementing it. Um, he's also writing. I, I, I know that he's writing on, on the next version of the draft. Um, the thing that probably most interests this group in this meeting is that he would like to soon um, move it from an individual effort to a working group effort. Yeah. He's, he's targeting that for soon. Um, OK. That would be very good. Thank you. Uh, and, and like I said, he did send an email. I just, uh, it's in another window somewhere. Um, so, uh, David? Uh, sorry, I need to check something in the email first. OK. <laughs> Uh, uh, so sorry, I, have, I have the email open actually from Martin. Uh, sorry, additional detail. What he's saying is that there will be an update in two to three weeks, and then he would like to move forward to um, okay. based on that version uh, to, to a working group document. Okay, sorry for right. interruption. No problem. That sounds good. Um, while um, David is looking up something in email, uh, oh, he has no question. Great. Uh, so the next thing is uh, any other business way forward uh, beyond future meetings. Does anybody else have any other business? All right. Uh, so Dieter and I were looking at the calendar. Um, I think as long as we keep these calls just to what has uh, been done, I'd like to go ahead and continue having them because we don't uh, we struggle a little bit to stay on task if we don't get together every so often. Um, I have, um, I moved this call a little bit later to, uh, uh, accommodate Harlan. Um, so maybe if, if people don't have any, um, uh, opposition to this time, I'd, I'd like to keep it here for another meeting or two to see, um, uh, if this is a better time for people. Um, I will note we are a little bit lower on attendance than normal, so I'm not sure if it's because it's January or if it's uh, because it's the later time. So if anybody has any concerns about the time, please feel free to send it to us. Um, the uh, plan right now is to go ahead and have a uh, another virtual interim on the 22nd of February at the same time. I'll get the announcement out for that. Um, Apologies for the link not being in the agenda. I probably should have sent an updated one, but um, the thing is when you put, you have to have your agenda to do the meeting request, but the link, you don't get the link until after the meeting request is done. So I need to go back and update the agenda or send out the link or something. Um, but they are, are always available under, uh, on the data tracker under meetings and then upcoming meetings. That has all of the upcoming interims for all of the working groups for the IETF. Go ahead, Karen, Rich. yeah, can you open a bug report on the data tracker about that inconvenient workflow? <laughs> I could, but I'm sure they have other things to do. <laughs> then Robert will prioritize it, but you know, it is a okay. real inconvenience. All right. 
Yes, Thank sir. You. <laughs> um, so uh, the plan, like I said, the plan for our next meeting is the, the 22nd of October, of October, geez, 22nd of February. The, um, uh, oh, Martin, Martin arrived just after we talked about his documents. Hi, Martin. Um, the, uh, the question we have is whether or not to schedule an in-person meeting for Brisbane. Um, and uh, I'm looking for some feedback on uh, people that would be in the neighborhood or be willing to uh, participate on Sydney time or Brisbane time. Um, I will be in person. Uh, I believe Rich will be there. Um, Watson, Watson, I'm not sure about you. Um, I will sadly not be there. Sadly, no, okay. Um, is anybody else from this working group going to be there in person? So it is at a time that's not terrible for um, Europeans. Is that right, David? Or you're just willing to get up at any time of day? I'm just willing to get up at any time of day for this. And it's probably gonna be just about the most awful time for me anyways, but I will. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, well, we will put a question out to the mailing list. Um, I just um, personally, I, I don't. Um, I, I'm not. I don't want to have a meeting where I'm the only one in person, or myself and Rich are the only two people in person. Um, it, it would seem to be easier to do it at a more convenient time for everybody. Um, all right. Anything else? Oh, very quickly, Karen. I published a new version. Oh, okay, great. Uh, what now? <laughs> <laughs> um, what now? That was quick. Uh, let me take a quick read of it, uh, and I'll send a, a note to the, the mailing list. Um, I, I feel like our working group last call was not quite definitive enough on consensus. Um, okay. So what I want to do is to... Uh, address the, the discussion points. I mean, I don't think there, there's some points we're not going to be able to satisfy. Um, but I, I think I need to be able, we need to be able to write up a clear message of what is satisfied and what's not. So I just need yep. to read over if that's okay with you. But that's absolutely fine for as, for as long as it's clear what's going to happen next. Yeah, no, I, I can understand that. We are trying to be clear about what happens next. Keep yep. this thing moving. Um, okay. So. Uh, anything else? No. Nope. Any other comments? All right. Thank you all very much. And um, I will see you in a month virtually. <laughs>